Do you guys remember the AI agency push just about a year ago? One of the big selling points was selling chatbots to potential clients. At the time, I remember giving it a shot. I wanted to see how easy it was to build a chatbot and then share it to potential leads that might turn into clients. But there wasn't a great solution at the time. So I decided to build something that was super easy to use. Now, before I get into this method, I want you to know that this is just one way to do it. It's the way I know best because I am building this app, but you have hundreds of different options. You have self-serve options. You have other web apps, other softwares. So don't feel pressured to use this system in your agency. You can always take bits and pieces from this and turn it into your own custom workflow. All right, first off, head on over to youraiagent.com. This is a web app that I'm building live on this channel. It's a comprehensive business suite of AI agents. And one of these AI agents is a chatbot. So you can work out of here as an agency and offer AI services to clients. Enter your full name, email address, password, and then click sign up. From the home page, setting up a chatbot agent is super easy. You don't have to connect any other platforms. So just click on this AI agent and let's learn more about it. This new chatbot agent uses your company's data to answer inquiries via a customizable HTML and JavaScript chat bubble on your website. So this is similar to Intercom. The chatbot details section provides a brief overview of the chatbot's purpose, like customer support, informational, etc., within a character limit. So you want to keep this part short. We'll talk about that in a second. For more in-depth setup, use an optional .txt knowledge base, which you can upload and update anytime. Once your chatbot agent is set up, you'll receive HTML code to embed it directly onto your website. Ensure iframes are enabled in your site settings. And conversations last 20 messages before prompting the user to reset the chat. And this is mainly so that the AI agent stays on track. I found that in longer messages, it tends to get confused. It misremembers stuff from the start and this ensures everything stays on track. Okay, if I was an agency and I wanted to find and sign up new clients, I would probably do this. First, we need to find new companies. You can do this in a variety of ways and it might be a good idea to niche down. Let's say you wanna target Shopify stores. You can go on their forms, check out the different businesses, search products on TikTok and Instagram, and see the websites that they're connected to. Any large database of companies would work. Here on Product Hunt, I can start clicking into some of these companies. Here we see Shootmail already has an AI agent. It appears they're using Crisp, so this might be a real person. It's probably better to target websites that don't already have a chat bubble, but this one might work still. Let's go to the chatbot, the avatar. I'm gonna call it Shootmail Agent. Now I Googled shoot mail icon. Let's open this image in a new tab. I'm gonna save this image and it looks like a JPEG, which means I'm gonna to have to quickly remove the outside white border just to clean it up. Let's export that as a PNG and we'll put it in the avatar section here. Okay, for the opening message. Hi there, welcome to shoot mail. You are now speaking with an AI agent. I can do much more than chatbots you've seen before. Tell me as much as you can about your question and I'll do my best to help you in an instant. Now let's set up the branding and I think we wanna use the same colors. So I'm gonna select an eyedropper and let's get this exact color. I'm gonna click down here, change it to hex and type what that color is, EC6800. Okay, there we go. And we'll also make that the user message. I'll keep the chatbot instructions the same. You are a customer support agent designed to answer questions from website visitors, answer in short sentences, and be friendly and polite. This can be customized per business, per chatbot, so you can work with the companies to get this fine-tuned into responding exactly like you want it to. This is just a basic prompt to start. And now we need a knowledge base. So I'm going to go over to Shoot Mail. Let's go to the Docs. And I'm going to copy all of this information. Let's open up a new Google Docs document and start pasting this information in. Let's go to the next page, copy all of this, paste it in. Let's go to the next part, paste it in. 
here we are on response format. There we go. Paste it in. Let's go to the rest API, copy everything, paste it in. I think I want to copy all of the website text too. Maybe let's go to the top here, paste that in. Here's some information about pricing and let's check out the template section. Yeah, it's going to be tough to paste into a knowledge base. So we'll just leave this part. Okay, we have a pretty simple knowledge base. All the text on Shootmail's website. Let's name this document Shootmail Knowledge Base. And let's go file, download as plain text.txt. You don't have to worry about formatting. If you wanted to go the extra mile, you could format this. But I'm going to explain what's going on in the back end a little bit later on in this video. And you can decide for yourself if formatting is necessary. I found that it's not really needed. Back on the chatbot page, let's click to upload a file. We're going to upload that knowledge base, click open, and then click start agent. Starting the agent gives us some website code where you can just create a random free website, any place where you're allowed to upload custom HTML code. We're just using this as a link to send to potential clients so they can test out their own chatbot. In this example, I'll just use a basic free blogger website. Again, you can use any free website platform. I can go to posts. We can create a new post. Let's call it shoot mail chatbot. We're going to find the HTML view, copy this code, paste it in, click update. Now, when I view the blog, we can click on that post and see our chatbot in the bottom right corner. Now I can test it out. Let's click on the bubble. We have hi there. Welcome to shoot mail. You are now speaking with an AI agent. I can do much more than chatbots you've seen before. Tell me as much as you can about your question and I'll do my best to help you in an instant. And we have the shoot mail logo. Let's ask, I want to know more about your pricing. Send it in. And here we go. Sure. Here's an overview of our pricing, all access template bundles. They have a discount code and look at this in our knowledge base. We have the all access $99. We have the template bundle for $29. And then it has the discount code. So the AI agent chatbot is properly scraping the knowledge base, gathering the relevant information from the user's query, and then providing it in the chat. After testing, if I like what it's doing, I can now try to land shoot mail as a client. So on their website or in an email, I could write something like, Hey, I made an AI chatbot for you that automatically answers questions from website visitors check it out and let me know what you think. I'd grab this URL, send this as a chat. If they like what they see, they can follow up. I can tell them more about my services, how much I charge monthly and tell them that my services include ongoing maintenance of the chatbot. We'll continually add an update to the knowledge base so that the chatbot gets better and better, which will save them time, money and resources and ensure that new website visitors get exactly the information that they want on a timely basis. From this main workflows page, you can run and monitor chatbots for many different companies and also provide different AI services like email support, LinkedIn posting, Reddit posting, Tumblr, Twitter, YouTube, and SEO articles. Now what's going on in the back end for those chatbots? I tried to make the workflow super simple. And what we're using is what OpenAI calls assistance. So we're creating a brand new assistant where each chatbot conversation is its own thread. So it knows the details that came before it. Each of those assistants are tied to its own knowledge base, which uses the file search tool. Now I talked about this earlier, but basically when you upload a knowledge base, it's automatically chunked into a more readable format for the AI agent. Those chunks are in the size of 800 tokens each. And then when the agent is called to search the knowledge base, like when a website visitor asks a question, it searches and pulls up the most relevant chunks that contain the information requested. Then it automatically ranks those chunks from most relevant to least relevant. And then it uses the most relevant chunks in the system prompt along with the user message or question and then it creates a result or output. Super fascinating, really efficient. For AI agent chatbots, this is the way to go. If you want to create some chatbots for yourself, 
I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If you want to learn how to code and develop your own AI chatbots, I talk about the assistance API in this online course called How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll leave a link to it in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there later.